Transportation is on the edge of a revolution, and Hyperloop technology stands at the forefront of this change. First envisioned by Elon Musk in 2013, the Hyperloop proposes using pods traveling at nearly the speed of sound through low-pressure tubes, drastically cutting travel times. In the next decade, many governments and companies are racing to turn this futuristic idea into reality. In this script, we explore the top 10 upcoming Hyperloop projects set to redefine the way of travel between 2025 and 2035. Each project will be explained in detail, covering its location and time speed potential, economic benefits and challenges. Virgin Hyperloop, USA Virgin Hyperloop is one of the pioneers in Hyperloop technology. Based in the United States, the company has conducted successful tests in Nevada, where passengers traveled safely in a Hyperloop pod for the first time in 2020. Their goal is to connect major U.S. cities with pods traveling at speeds of over 1,000 kmh Virgin. Hyperloop envisions routes like Los Angeles to San Francisco in under 45 minutes. The project promises zero direct emissions, reduced traffic congestion, and sustainable travel for millions of passengers. Virgin has partnered with governments and infrastructure companies to accelerate commercialization by 2030. Challenges remain in regulation, funding, and public acceptance, but the project has already proved its technical feasibility. Dubai Hyperloop, UAE Dubai, known for embracing futuristic technologies, is working with Virgin Hyperloop and DP World to build the first commercial Hyperloop line in the world. The proposed route between Dubai and Abu Dhabi could reduce travel time from 90 minutes to just 12 minutes. Pods would transport both passengers and cargo, making logistics faster and cheaper. Dubai's government has heavily invested in smart city technologies, and Hyperloop fits directly into its Vision 2030 goals. The stations are designed like airports, providing seamless boarding and high-frequency departures. While environmental and safety concerns are being addressed, Dubai's strong financial backing makes it one of the most likely regions to see a working Hyperloop in the coming decade. Mumbai Pune Hyperloop, India India's Hyperloop dream focuses on the busy. Mumbai Pune Corridor The Virgin Hyperloop company signed an agreement with the Maharashtra government to build this route. If completed, it could cut the three-hour journey to just 25 minutes. The corridor could handle 200 million passengers annually boosting India's infrastructure, economy, and innovation sector. The government declared it a public infrastructure project, signaling political will to support it. Challenges include land acquisition, costs, and complex approvals. However, with India's growing population and urban congestion, Hyperloop is seen as a long-term solution to mobility challenges. China Hyperloop Project China, already a leader in high-speed rail, is developing its own Hyperloop-inspired technology. Known as T-Flight, the Chinese system is being designed by CASIC, China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation. The goal is to achieve speeds up to 1,000 km h, eventually scaling to 4,000 km h in evacuated tubes. Initial tests have been conducted successfully, and China aims to build domestic hyperloop routes connecting megacities like Beijing and Shanghai. With massive government support, deep funding and technological expertise, China may be the first country to launch a national Hyperloop network. Safety, cost, and global cooperation remain key issues. Saudi Neom Hyperloop, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia's ambitious Neom project, a $500 billion futuristic city under construction, plans to include a Hyperloop transportation system. Neom is envisioned as a fully sustainable, AI-driven smart city, and Hyperloop would fit perfectly into this ecosystem. It could connect Neom to major Saudi cities in minutes, transforming both tourism and trade. Saudi Arabia is partnering with global Hyperloop companies to test and integrate the system. While the city itself is still in development, Neom's vast budget and resources make it a realistic candidate for an early Hyperloop deployment. Europe, Hyperloop TT, multiple countries, Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, Hyperloop TT, based in Europe, is developing test tracks and pilot projects across France, Spain, and other EU countries. Their goal is to connect European capitals with high-speed zero-emission Hyperloop corridors. Hyperloop TT has built a 320-meter test track in Toulouse, France, and is working with EU regulators to establish a legal framework for Hyperloop certification. By the early 2030s, Europe could see operational Hyperloop services for both passengers and cargo. 
The EU's commitment to green mobility is a major driver behind these initiatives. United States Midwest Hyperloop, USA. Apart from Virgin Hyperloop's Nevada work, other initiatives in the U.S. include the Midwest Hyperloop proposal. This route would connect Chicago, Cleveland, and Pittsburgh, cutting travel times drastically. The Great Lakes Hyperloop proposal, led by Hyperloop TT and regional governments, envisions boosting economic growth by linking cities into a mega-region. Studies show billions in benefits and thousands of jobs could result. However, progress depends on regulations and funding. Japan Hyperloop Concept Japan, famous for its Shinkansen bullet trains, is also exploring Hyperloop-like systems. Several universities and companies are researching magnetic levitation pods that could eventually surpass the Shinkansen in speed and efficiency. While Japan's focus remains on maglev trains, a Hyperloop project could be integrated into its transport mix post-2030. With Japan's technological innovation and public trust in high-speed travel, the Japanese Hyperloop is seen as highly feasible. Canada Transpod Hyperloop Canada's Transpod company is actively developing a Hyperloop-style system called the Fluxjet. It promises speeds of 1,000 km h and reduced carbon emissions compared to aviation. The proposed route between Calgary and Edmonton could cut a three-hour drive to just 45 minutes. Transpod has strong government and investor support, making it one of the more advanced Hyperloop startups. Construction of test facilities is already underway. South Korea Hyperloop, Republic of Korea. South Korea's government and Hyundai Motor Group are investing in Hyperloop research. Their system, sometimes called the Korea Train Express X, KTXX, could reach speeds of 1,000 tailors kilometer h. With South Korea's compact geography and dense cities, Hyperloop could be a practical alternative to short-haul flights and highways. Research facilities are testing scaled models, and the project is expected to see major progress by 2035. Conclusion The Hyperloop is no longer just science fiction. It is moving closer to reality with every passing year. By 2035, multiple countries could be operating commercial Hyperloop systems, cutting down travel time, boosting economies and reducing environmental impacts. The journey will not be easy, but innovation, investment and global collaboration are driving this transformation. The Hyperloop could very well become the defining transportation technology of the 21st century.